exciting thing about avatar control these days is that now that VR technology has come to where it is, you get really, really high resolution and fidelity in the VR headset. And the robots are at a level now where they can be precision control using regular Wi-Fi. You can, you can now start deploying robots uh, and androids into applications where, the, you, where you don't want the human to be present. So Eve is a humanoid robot, uh, so it like matches the embodiment uh, of a human, has two arms. Uh, today we're showing the uh, virtual reality teleoperation. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, basically you can wear the headset, get the controllers, control the arms, control the grippers, and drive around a bit the uh, show floor. As I put on the VR headset, I began to see what a future of human-controlled robots might look like. I knew the robot body I was inhabiting wasn't my own, but I couldn't help but feel the part of me as I looked back on my human body was the robot. It was a strange, disconcerting feeling. If I look presumably to my right, I might see myself. I can see my hands out there. Exactly, you can see yourself. So I'm now in the robot body. Exactly. I am waving to myself in robot form. Obviously, I'm not actually in the robot, but just seeing myself and having this robot sense of self is a very strange feeling. I can see my own body over there, and in some way, I'm not connected to it. I am in the robot, part robot, part human. I'll give the uh, camera a little wave there. Currently, the commercial application is physical security in the US. And in that application, the robot does autonomous patrols. That includes um, opening doors and riding elevators. Uh, and then it, uh, when needed, it can hand over control to a human. The human can uh, assess the situation through the eyes of the robot, solve the, the, um, the, the issue, and then move on. In five years, I expect when you, when you go to Heathrow Airport, you'll see and, uh, androids um, doing um, many tasks. In 10 years, I think it, it would also be in elder care, so uh, elderly people living at home will have um, uh, robots helping them at home or androids. Um, and then the, the, the step be beyond that, which is the robots in every consumer's home, I don't want to put a date to that, but that, uh, that will come later, I think. Uh, I will just, yep, I'll go back in. I'll ask Louis if he's got enough uh, camera footage. Louis? Yeah, you think you've got enough? Okay, great.